This video is going to show you how to locate articles to use in your research. Now there are many different databases that you can use to do research. I'm going to highlight two, but know that below on this guide there are additional links to other databases that might prove helpful to you as well. Now we've already logged into Atlas and clicked search the library and ended up in the library catalog. From here, we're going to click Databases A to Z, and that's going to open an alphabetical list of all Valencia's databases. Now, if you have the name of the database you're going to, simply find the letter. It'll sort the list alphabetically. Um, if you're not sure where you want to go, you can try the subject dropdown. Um, categories like General, uh, Social Issues, Reference, those categories, the databases within them, um, might prove helpful for this assignment. Um, but I already know what database I'm going to, so I'm going to click the letter O and go to the database called Opposing Viewpoints. Now this database is originally intended for students doing persuasive essays. Yours is informative, but think about how you would make a persuasive argument. You would give facts, statistics, things like that. So there are certain sections of this database that will be helpful to you, and other ones will want to try to avoid because of their persuasive nature. So we're going to do a very simple search like we did in the library catalog. You're just going to kind of search for your general category. So I'm going to search for medical marijuana, and I'll click the top result there, and it brings me to the topic page. So all topic pages will look like this. Of course, the content's going to be different, but they will always start out with uh, some kind of image and then a very generic overview of the topic. This is a great informative tool that you can use. So if we click Read More, you can see that we're getting a little bit of a summary of the article. It's showing us the main ideas that they're going to cover, and then it really goes into uh, the topic of medical marijuana and its history. You can see below there's a citation. You also have tools up in the top right. So you have again the citation tool. You can email the article to yourself. You can download it. You can print it. So every article is going to have those same mechanics. Now down the right hand side you'll see there are related articles and also related subjects. Now, remember, this is just the introductory essay, so if we scroll down a little bit, it shows you the different kinds of um, research or articles that you'll find in this database. So, most helpful I find can be the videos or statistics. Reference articles are going to be a little general, so more like explaining the topic, that's great for an informative essay because it's not going to have any um, bias or viewpoint there. You can see there's also infographics and newspaper articles. Magazine articles are good for being informative, but also being a little more brief and not too technical. And then ultimately, we also have academic journals. Those are usually going to be a little more serious. They're research-based. They're written by professionals for professionals. Uh, and you have a little bit of a sneak peek down below of each of those categories. So you can kind of look through and get an idea of the kind of articles you'll find in, say, reference or the infographics. So you can simply click around in these different categories. Uh, for example, I'll go to statistics. And you can see that there are two statistics here. They're a little out of date. But if you're interested, you can click on the title. And we get a very nice chart, some graphs. Importantly, it also tells you where the information came from. So you can kind of check the credibility. And even though this is an image, you'll still have a citation for it. And you can use it in your research. Now, just to show you the difference between some of the information, if we click on academic journals, you can see that they're a little more specific 
and more based on doing experiments or studies. So this does have helpful information, uh, but however, it may be a little too in-depth for your assignment. If we go to the viewpoints category, again, these are ones that you'll want to use lightly. So you can look for a topic that is interesting to you or seems to fit with what you're talking about when you talk about medical marijuana. Uh, so for example, let's try a random article here. <laughs> what I really like is that often it will tell you who's written the article and give you a little bit of background information. So you can decide if that author is biased. So again, from here, we're not necessarily looking at any persuasive arguments that are created, uh, but there's lots of informative information here. For example, right away, it tells us about the medical value. So why do people uh, use marijuana for medical purposes? It gives you an example of some of the kinds of illnesses that it can help with. So we're not necessarily looking at the author's personal argument, but we're looking at the evidence they're using to back up that argument. So that's informative. So all of you should be able to find uh, topic pages here in Opposing Viewpoints, but just remember to be a little bit thoughtful about the information you're using. Um, again, any of these categories are available to you, but you'll just want to pay attention that you're using actual information, actual research, and not someone's personal opinion. So I'm going to show you one additional database. If I go back to the alphabetical list, databases A to Z, uh, for this example, I'm going to show you Academic Search Complete. That's the third one on the list. Now, as I click into this database, you'll already see differences between this database and opposing viewpoints. It's a little more serious, no fun colors and pictures, uh, which is a good hint that this is more for scholarly information. So as I mentioned in opposing viewpoints, scholarly information is usually more research-based, um, but as a result, it can be a little more complicated to read as well. Um, so for this database, you'll want to uh, do a little bit more of an advanced search. So of course, I'm going to include medical marijuana. But then I may also want to think about secondary keywords. So what is it that I want to know about medical marijuana? I'm going to do a general search so I can show you some additional ways to narrow your search results uh, if you're having trouble coming up with a secondary keyword. So for example, um, I could put medical marijuana and uh, side effects or medical marijuana and, um, let's see, and cancer or something like that. I'm just going to go with medical marijuana again so I can show you more of the search features. You can see that I got about 5,200 search results. So just like the library catalog, I'm going to go here on the left side of the page and start to narrow some of my results. The very first thing you can do is click on full text. When we purchase databases, we only get certain packages of articles. So clicking full text will ensure that you're only looking at articles you can actually read. One thing you may want to change is the publication date. 1967, we had a very different idea of marijuana, um, limited research. So articles from that far back are not going to be helpful for a topic like this. So I usually recommend to students that they stay within um, like the five year mark when you're doing current event research. Um, if you're struggling with five years, I would say no older than 10 years. So you can see that drastically brought my results down. I'm now to about 1,500. And from here, I can look through my search results or I can continue to narrow down even more. One of the helpful things is the source type. So while Academic Search Complete is primarily for academic journal articles, you'll see there are other kinds of articles here. Magazine articles, that is a great way to narrow down um, if you're finding these articles a little too heavy or a little too 
uh, technical for the kind of essay that you're writing. An additional field that I find helpful on the left side uh, is the subject thesaurus term category. If we click that and then click show more, it's going to show us all of the subjects attached to the articles in our search results. Uh, so it'll show you the, the subject of the article and then how many articles fit that. So of course our top few articles are going to be pretty general things, but as we scroll down a little bit you can see that uh, they get more specific. So if you were wanting to find information on how medical marijuana affects um, mental health issues maybe, you could click categories like depression and anxiety. If you wanted to know more about the actual industry, how does medical marijuana work? Uh, categories like marijuana industry or marijuana dispensaries might be helpful. If you want to look at how people feel about the idea of medical marijuana, something like attitude psychology might be helpful there. So if you do decide to use the subject thesaurus term, you would simply click any of the categories here on the left and then click update. Just to show you an example of what this database can do, uh, just like library catalog, you're going to look through, uh, look for titles that catch your eye. If it has a, um, uh, an abstract, which is just a summary of the article, you might be able to read a little bit of that. Um, and if you decide it's interesting, simply click on the title. And you've got the full abstract here. You've also got information for citation. So of course we have the title. We now have the author's name. We have the journal source, the date, the volume, the issue, and the page numbers. It also gives us those additional subject terms. Now to actually read the article, we're going to go here on the left to PDF full text. The abstract is helpful, but that's not where you want to get your information. That's simply to help you figure out if you want to spend the time reading this article. So from here, you can go through the article. It says it's 46 pages, but as you can see, more than half the pages in some case are citations or endnotes. Uh, and just like our other databases, you have a few options. So in Academic Search Complete, they happen to be down the right side. You can send the article to Google Drive. You can print a copy. You can email it to yourself. This fifth one down that looks like a gold sheet of paper, that's our citation tool. So again, you would scroll down to MLA, and there's your MLA citation. I can already detect a slight issue with this citation. Uh, so for example, the author's name should not be in all capital letters. So those are the small kind of issues that you're looking for. Generally, it's got the right author name, it's got the right title, it's got the right journal, um, but little things like capitalization, punctuation, italics, uh, those are the kinds of mistakes that you want to look for in the citations that the databases give you. Within the PDF window, you also have the ability to download or print the article. So again, this is just... Uh, two examples of possible databases that you can use. On the library guide, you'll find lots of other databases that can be helpful based on the topics that you're researching, from newspaper articles to uh, more informative reference databases like Opposing Viewpoints, uh, all the way to other databases that have scholarly information like Academic Search Complete.